Hi, welcome to the inaugural episode of Mom's Trash Can. What is Mom's Trash Can, you ask? Well, it's cool stuff that got thrown away when your mom thought you outgrew it or you moved out. Could be die cast, uh, could be action figures, could be baseball cards, uh, you name it. So, let's take a look at what's in Mom's Trash Can today. Looks like we have a uh, 68 Chevy Camaro diecast and a 69 Buick Riviera diecast. And these are Mego Jet Wheels. Let's take a look at the base here. You can see the jet wheel there on the base. Made in Hong Kong. So, Mego Corporation, yes, that Mego Corporation. The one of the superhero action figure line fame. Um, <clears throat> produced these in 1969. Um, as you know, Mattel released Hot Wheels in 1968, and all the other toy companies, uh, seeing the success of Mattel, decided uh, to come out with their own diecast lines. Uh, Matchbox Superfast would uh, be an example of that. And Mego um, came out with their line as well. But Jet Wheels castings didn't start or even end with Mego. In fact, they have a pretty interesting history. So, <clears throat> referencing a article by uh, Jeff Koch that was in Hemmings Motor News, uh, we kind of run through the history and it begins with AMT Pups. Yes, that AMT of the plastic model fame. So, AMT started making die casts in 1968 uh, before Mattel came out with their Hot Wheel line. So, AMT kind of modeled Lesney, the makers of Matchbox, in offering uh, realistic models with eh, not so fast wheels and kind of drab everyday colors, what you would see on production vehicles of the time. So there were four castings that AMT came out with, the Mustang, the Charger, the Cougar, and the Camaro. <clears throat> so, AMT went to market with these forecastings yeah, a few months or so before Mattel. And as you can imagine, what's the Mattel's Hot Wheels hit? No kids wanted AMT pups anymore. So AMT actually sold the tooling off to Mego. So, Mego added um, four more castings in addition to the four original AMTs. They added a 1969 AMX, a Corvette, a Corvair, and the Riviera. As you can see, an example from this picture, the Jet Wheels packaging 
that they used. So Migo produced these eight castings for a couple of years. Um, couldn't really compete with, with Mattel's Hot Wheels, obviously. And they sold the tooling off to yet another company, York Toy Company, who branded them Tuffy. And the base either had the AMT ground off or the jet wheels covered up. York uh, Toy Company added a 1969 Catalina convertible, which you can see there's a picture of here. <clears throat> and um, they continued to sell the models for a while, eventually rebranding them as Super Speedies. So the Super Speedy packaging you can see here. And once your toy, toy company did this, um, they added yet another casting, the 1969 uh, Ford Torino. So that's kind of the, the long history of uh, Mego Jet Wheels, which is, I guess, probably how most people would know them and how they were produced uh, the longest. So let's take a close-up look at these two examples we have here. Starting first with the Camaro. You can see it has a, a full interior. Um, it has a detail on the tail lights it has uh, the, the door lines molded and the door handle you can see the door lines on the, the hood and the hideaway headlights for 68 including the SS grill badge So the wheels were, you know, kind of standard plastic wheels. Um, oh, well, let's take a look under the hood too. So there under the hood, you can see, see the motor. And they had some somewhat thin uh, wire axles you can see there. Um, and the base with the jet wheel on it. So pretty nice casting, but unfortunately wouldn't do well on a Hot Wheels orange track. Now let's take a look at the Riviera. The Riviera you can see also has a full interior. The door lines molded, the door handle. Um, it has uh, a little bit thicker wheels here. These are actually two-piece wheels, which you can see here with the one I'm missing. These are kind of reminiscent of Play Art, if you may be um, familiar with those. They have the um, two-piece that snaps on. Also, the early Hot Wheels red lines are this way. So you go to the back, you can see the tail light. Um, detail. And take a look under the hood. You can see the engine compartment. And the grill. So that's the Riviera. Uh, unfortunately, these are the only two examples I have currently in my collection um, but if I uh, once I run across some more I'll be happy to do another video on them so hey thanks everybody for tuning in to mom's trash can if you like what you see uh, give us a like 
uh, subscribe and uh, we'll work on some more videos following that. Thanks.